concerto per pianoforte e orchestra. The album Piano Concerto Fantastico was recorded in Budapest in February 2017. Thanks to an important USA sponsor, a company called Green Earth Energy, I had the Budapest Scoring Symphonic Orchestra, composed of more than 60 people. In a truly professional way, they approached my music sheet and they immediately understood which was my need as an author. Even though I am inspired by the great composers of the past, I have chosen to blend the classical form with my closest passions, that is, jazz and the passionate folk language of the Mediterranean, the place I come from. A precious help was given by the very good conductor Eliseo Castrignano, who interpreted and even suggested new ideas for the recording. Hey, presto, in just seven hours, we created a magnificent piece of work of which I am very proud. The concert for piano and orchestra develops in three movements, referring to the classic romantic form that has characterized the writing of the great composers of the past, such as Beethoven, Chopin, Schumann, Rachmaninoff and Ravel. The three movements are Moderato, Adagio Ironico and Presto. Each of them has a very specific characteristic. For example, the first movement of the concerto, as well as the first movement of the sonata, seems to derive from a single matrix, as if they had originated in another era. They respect almost literally the formal rules imposed by the compositive deontology of the form in question, such as exposure, development and recapitulation. However, they don't deprive themselves of the craft of improvising, which returns brilliance and freshness to formal austerity, especially in development. The second movement, Adagio Ironico, ABA form, brings back to the jazz tradition of Duke Ellington's big band. The third movement of the concerto, defined presto, refers to a melodic and triplets conception in four quarters or twelve eighths, typical of Pizzica Salentina, exposing two totally different themes, one rhythmic and one melodic, that develop on the same identical harmonic line. The piano sonata is yet another compositional challenge, which has led me to create a wide-ranging writing, lasting almost 24 minutes, in which different languages of the 19th and 20th century tradition are faced. In particular, in the first movement, the central part called development is inspired mostly by the new American sound of the 20th century, referring to the highest expression of this genre, that is to the jazzy writing of the Russian Kapustin. The second movement is a jazz ballad in all respects, within which every custom is broken, delivering to the listener a slow atmosphere in perfect mainstream and non-blues style. 
typical of American jazz and pop song, with even an ample space carved out for pure piano improvisation. The third movement of the Sonata Barbaro, through an ostinato in six quarters, recalls the rhythmic boldness of Bella Bartok, feeding on the weird harmonic sounds of the music of Kapustin, revealing itself in an obscure but satisfying triumph. Indigo Mirage is a song inspired by my first experience in the United States and in particular in New York. On my way back to Italy, I looked out of the window of the plane and I had the impression that everything that had happened in this magical city was revealed in a mirage of indigo colour. This piece crossed by electronic raids is a watershed between the present and future direction of my journey as a composer. Mm -hmm. 